All right, Shock Wizard fans, using the Fiona Richmond box set, we're going to watch a movie called Hardcore, also known as Fiona. Let's check it out. Our film follows the exploits of Fiona, played by Fiona Richmond. It's supposed to be a telling of her life story, but I think they've taken a few liberties. Why do I have the stuff being taken away? I've got to talk to him. Where is he? Then he owes you money too. What are you talking about? House is being evicted. Her man is gone. And we start from the very beginning with chapter one, my early fight with temptation. I was a country kid, why do you admire the innocence of my eyes? I guess this is where she lost her virginity. Can't really show you all of this scene, but you get the gist. She gets in trouble at school for being too sexy. A trousers raid on the boys dormitory. Ambiguous conversations with the groundsman and the gardener. And the authorship of a pornographic poem written in Ottawa Rima, celebrating the life and loves of the spy, Martha Hardy. Um, her punishment? The professor takes advantage of her. Not that she's unwilling. There must be no impediment in the way. Oh, no, sir. I quite agree. I guess she's in her late teens now, early 20s, I don't know. But apparently her cherry is growing ripe. Her next adventure is in a car with some dude. Surely, provided they're all in one basket. You'll have to do something about this. At the very least I can do. I can't show you any of their activities once they get home. She needs to tell her story to this dude. And here's part three where she became a stewardess. Can't imagine what's gonna happen on these airplanes. Well, yes, I can actually. Later on, her and her friend uh, go to spend some time on a houseboat. They take the boat out for a spin and apply suntan oil all over each other, as you do. It's not long before that suit comes off. They're both naked and doing stuff in there which I would love to show you. After the lesbian activity, she talks about the next adventure in her life, which is chapter four. She's at a sex show now. The world out there is made for you kids. Go out there and suck it to them. I hadn't the faintest idea what people were talking about. So she was in a sex show review for a while. Now she's into art. She wrote a book. The book detailed all of her sexual exploits. All of which I can't show you on this video.
So yeah, she's an author now. Later on, we have some strip poker. The extra lady watches them make out, and eventually she's gonna disrobe and join. And now she wants random truckers, apparently. These are the, your habitual receivers. Why does your rapist continue to rape? Was the bone of our mutual contention. And what was the upshot? Can't show you what to do in the back of that truck. Beatles fans might recognize this guy from A Hard Day's Night. Carpet is rolled out for Fiona, literally. And she visits a lord. Garlic. Okay, damned and considerate Normandy snails. If you and I are going to make sweet music, we'll have to break that habit. It's half past eleven. For what? Well, won't you expect to meet his lordship at eleven? Is what? Later on, she's on a train. Guess what happens while the other passengers sleep? I'll give you one guess, just one. And our final chapter. We will arrest them, we will manacle them, we will impede them. Jackie has come out of your In the name of the people of the Republic of France, I arrest you for breaking and entering and removing the contents of 22 houses, including man. So they avoid arrest and they end the film on a boat together. Now I think you ought to tell me all about everything, don't you? I don't know what you're letting yourself in for. Try me. Oh, it all started in a haphazard sort of way. You see, my father was a judge. <laughs> in chambers and all that sort of thing. All right, let's talk about Fiona, otherwise known as Hardcore. This is a movie that I taped, God, probably back in the summer of 89, maybe 1990. It's one of the first movies I taped on VHS when I started to, when I went from beta to VHS. Um, taped it off of cable under the title Fiona. Years later, I picked it up as the movie Hardcore on this uh, Fiona Richmond box set, which features Hardcore, Let's Get Laid, and uh, Trauma, which I'll be revealing soon. Revealing. Reviewing. Um, this one is, uh, I guess it's supposed to be a autobiographical or a biographical uh, story about Fiona Richmond, the star of the show. She plays Fiona. Um, 
but it's uh, it's it's not realistic at all. I'm sure. At least I hope not. Um, there's not much plot here other than the fact it's supposed to be um, how Fiona Richmond came uh, came to be, how she came, how she was born, grew up. Uh, through her adolescence, and then just became like this British sex pot in the early 70s. And uh, we see her progression through there, uh, you know, getting laid at an early age, sleeping around with as many men as possible, um, kind of living the uh, a jet set lifestyle, that sort of thing. Um, again, not much of a plot here, but we do see her um, progress from growing up, then she goes to Hollywood, gets some sort of a career there. Ultimately, she just ends up sleeping around and ends up with a guy in a boat at the end of the movie. Again, not much plot to get away in the way of the nudity here. Uh, there's some lesbianism thrown in as well. Several nude scenes from Fiona Richard herself, full frontal and everything else. Um, there was actually some uh, risque stuff in here too uh, from some like scenes that were taking place on a stage, kind of like a strip show, but we saw uh, balls and penises and uh, spread legs from women and everything in there. So that was nice. Um, uh, very quick though. But yeah, Fiona Richmond doesn't do that, but we do see her fully naked several times. So there you go. Can't go wrong there. So anyway, that's that's pretty much it. Again, not much plot here uh, to get in the way. Um, yeah, I got nothing else for you. Uh, Vincent's, uh, what the hell was his name? Vincent Spinetti is in this movie. You might remember him from... Uh, uh, the Beatles movie, Hard Day's Night. I think, was he in Help also? I'm not sure. Maybe he was in both of those. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So anyway, like I said, I had this on this box set, which I don't have with me here. I just have the uh, one movie here. Uh, the box set, last I looked, which was like five years ago, it was very pricey and hard to find if you could at all. I believe you could still get all these individually um, in various forms. Um, this one is, like I said, a PAL DVD. It might be, I don't actually don't think it's available in, in the U.S., but uh, I'll, I'll leave you a link to whatever I can find. So, but anyway, um, the movie itself, yeah, it's okay. Thankfully, there's a lot of nudity in it, which keeps it going. It's a very short film, only 79 minutes long. Um, Fiona Richmond, uh, in real life, uh, she kind of was a jet set British, uh, 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 celebrity. She hung out with the guy, I think he's the producer of this film named, uh, Peter, Peter Raymond or something like Raymond. What the hell is his name? You're produced by... Well, shit, it's not listed here, but uh, on IMDb it's listed. can't remember the dude's name, but she hung out with him. He, she was about 20 years uh, younger than him, and uh, they lived this kind of lifestyle. And he directed, sorry, produced the three movies that are on this box at Hardcore Trauma and uh, Let's Get Laid. So I think this was the middle one between those two. They came out in 76, 77, and 78, I believe, or maybe it's 75, 76, and 77. I don't know. Anyway, this one's 77. I think it was 76, 77, 78. I digress. Anyway, if you want a lot of boobs and bush and butts, you should uh, check this movie out. There's plenty to be seen. Check it out. Leave some comments. Hardcore, a.k.a. Fiona. Watch it. Bye.